Garbage Pail Kids, Mad Mike and the Quest for Stale Gum In the 80s, the world was ruled by two things, video games and Garbage Pail Kids cards. These lovable gross-out monster children could be found in the lunchboxes of every latchkey kid, juvenile delinquent, rascal, and brat in your neighborhood. About this game, what can I say? It's a nice-looking old-school platformer where you can take control of all the main characters from the cards. The art style is 8-bit with a nice color palette, but the controls, at least on Switch, are on point. Again, on Switch there are video stutters when a lot of enemies are on the screen, like for example, the Mars level. But again it's so sparse and rare that you will probably notice it but it will be for such a short period that it won't matter. For 10 bucks you're going to get around 2-3 to three hours of gameplay and a beautiful catalog where you can view all the original cards or, and this is pretty cool. The recording of your run in 1-2-3 to three hours take. In conclusion, if you like old-school platforms, liked Garbage Pail Kids or just like a solid platformer, give it a try, it's just 10 bucks.